Hello, Hoopaholics. It's Coach Spins back here in the film room, presented by NBA Math. And today we're taking a look at how the Dallas Mavericks have always used the pick and roll, but how they're changing exactly the way that they utilize it to create offense. Rick Carlisle's Mavericks teams have always utilized the three-point shot with great spacing, and a lot of that flows out of the pick and roll. But in years past, the high ball screens, especially these two high sets, have been used to try to force switches, with Dirk Nowitzki and Harrison Barnes both versatile inside-outside scorers. The thought was that getting a smaller guard off of a switch would allow the Mavericks to exploit a good matchup through a post-up. However, as NBA offenses have evolved and the pace of games has quickened, this type of strategy has become less effective, allowing the Mavericks less time to get a good shot late in the shot clock. You can see how slow their action really is. But this year, the Mavericks have used their double high ball screens as a way to get the ball into Dennis Smith Jr.'s hands and let him create. With Nowitzki as an elite pick and pop threat and a franchise caliber point guard to have with the ball in his hands, the Mavericks offense has quickened their pace just a little bit by these ball screen actions being designed for the ball handler. You can see there's still that great spacing for ball handlers to come off and either hit the pop guy or shooters in the corners. A lot of times this puts a lot of pressure on the defense to read and react to the ball handler. It opens up the rim for slips and is also a great opportunity for backdoor cuts from the wing with no help right at the rim. Again, Dallas's single high ball screen seemed a little archaic as well, trying to force the switch and have Nowitzki post up with his back to the basket about 18 feet away. Now these single high ball screens are designed more for rollers and players slipping to the rim for wide open opportunities. It's been a great way to utilize Dwight Powell and Nerlens Noel when they have been in the game. J.J. Barea and Dennis Smith are great at manipulating opposing point guards and having good pace here in the pick and roll. That spacing still applies as the Mavericks have some of the best shooters in the league surrounding the action. Once Seth Curry returns from injury, we'll see a lot of open shots for him out of this formation as well. Of course, we still have that dangerous action involving Dirk Nowitzki, the pick and pop. Decision making off of forced switches is much quicker as well. Here Harrison Barnes stares down his man and then rises up from three. Of course, the spacing still applies for those timely backdoor cuts. But my favorite added wrinkle the Mavericks have been using this year is a twisting pick and roll formation that allows easy slips to the rim for their screen setters. Both Powell and Noel have gotten tons of alley-oop opportunities because of this. And with ball handlers that manipulate the defense at the right pace and shooters swirling around the action, it's easy to see why defenses have such a tough time guarding this type of action. Dallas may not be off to the hottest start this season, but it's easy to see how they're laying the blueprints for their future offense. Built around Dennis Smith Jr. in the pick and roll, Dallas has a lot of opportunities to make him into a star. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something, and we'll see you next week.